Well, here I am in my happy place, standing on top of a ladder in the canopy of a sweet cherry tree. I probably say this about a lot of wild food, but I think sweet cherries are my favorite thing to forage. They grow wild all over the east and west of North America, but not so much in the center. Sorry, y'all. Often they grow just out of reach, so a ladder definitely comes in handy. You can identify them by their toothed or serrated leaf with a pointy tip and the prominent parallel lines on their shiny gray bark. I was in that one tree for about 30 minutes and I barely made a dent. There are probably hundreds of pounds of ripe cherries still hanging on it. To preserve these so we can eat them all year, we rinse them off first just to get any dust and bugs out. And then we use this little cherry pitter that my mom got us a few years ago to remove the pits. We actually save the pits to make a Middle Eastern spice called maleb that we use in Syrian cookies. And we have an earlier video that shows that process. Once the cherries are pitted, we lay them out in the sun to dehydrate them or just gobble them up fresh. 